Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphen here and today I'm going to show you guys how to finish your Windows 11 update if you're getting the error of CFOS speed driver keeping you from being able to finish the install. Now this is something that seems to be happening with a lot of MSI computer users, possibly other brands as well, but for sure I keep seeing it with MSI. I currently have an MSI Trident and so that's what's happening here. And it turns out that this CFOS speed driver is installed in pretty much every MSI computer. Now on this prompt in regards to that driver, it says your PC has a service that isn't ready for this version of Windows. A new version is available. If you click on learn more, it'll take you to that company's website, CFOS, and here you can actually purchase or install this internet accelerator. Now if you wanted to, you could purchase the CFOS speed driver and just update it that way and you'll be good to go. So here's a solution that I found for MSI users that have Dragon Center. So we're going to go to the programs and launch Dragon Center, which is right here. Now a new update is available. Update. It took my computer about five minutes to update. All right, so now that we're in, we're going to go to the left side where it says support. Click on that. And then it'll say scan to get the latest version. So we're going to click on scan for live update. Now you can do third party utilities if you like, but I'm just going to do the standard utilities here. Check all those and click install. Then it's going to tell you to reboot your system once the install is complete. So click install. Now doing this update is actually going to update the CFOS speed driver. Now this is also going to take some time. All right. So now it looks like the Dragon Center is fully updated. We're going to click on the support button. Click on scan once again, just to make sure that there's nothing else that we need to update on the utility side. And yep, and there we see we only have the third party utilities, which we don't need. We're gonna go ahead and close that. Now, if I click on refresh here, it's not gonna work. I'm gonna have to actually restart my computer. All right, so we're gonna have to cancel the Windows Update 11 first. Now this is gonna take some minutes, so we get the X out of it. You don't wanna restart your computer without stopping this because right now it was already in process for Windows 11. So we're going to get out of that for now. We're going to restart the computer. All right, so now we're going to go back into the settings, update and security. And then now we're going to install Windows 11. We got to start again from scratch. So it's going to start from zero. And as you can see here, now we're at over 35%. So it's really that simple. If you have an MSI computer, just go to update your MSI Dragon Center and then go in support and then update all the other utilities that you can. That'll automatically update the CFOS speed driver that was not allowing you to update to Windows 11. So now we just let it run its course and finish its install. And there you go. You should have no interruptions whatsoever regarding the CFOS speed driver. When it's done, go ahead and click on restart now. Now, if you don't have an MSI and don't have Dragon Center and you're still getting that same situation, you might have some type of other software that's built in with your computer brand that's going to allow you to update your CFOS speed driver. But if not, again, you can go ahead and purchase it through the link on the Windows 11 prompt. So when you click on learn more and you go to the website, you can just purchase it and update from there.